Continuing our off-road journey through the Pilbara, I'm checking out a few more hidden gems throughout the Newman water circuit. You can detour out to Three Pools, which is a great little camping spot and a rougher four-wheel drive track. But today I'm behind the wheel and I'm taking the boys to see Eagle Rock Pool and the amazing Eagle Rock Falls. Well, this is fun. It's great. Uh -huh. It's looking a bit more rocky and windy, the track as we get in there, but so far it's been a pretty easy drive. Looks at that track, I reckon you're gonna uh, start bringing out your rally driving skills pretty soon. Oh, here we go. It's all right, Rob, I won't, I won't put your head on the roof just yet. You don't put the roof on the road. <laughs> Feeling a bit nervous. This is my first time driving off road. Ah, <laughs> not nervous at all. <laughs> wow, how beautiful is this? It's like a little oasis, isn't it? I can see why all the locals come in here in summer. It must be beautiful and cool. It's a short drive from the pool to Eagle Rock Falls, and boy, is this place amazing. There's two sets of falls, one 12 metres and 60 metres high. Even though they're not flowing, the scenery is absolutely magic. The sheer volcanic red cliff walls and the contrast with the white gums is truly spectacular. I'm going to see if I can get down there. I'm told there's some perch in the water, so I'm going to go and take a look. Now, these locations are fairly remote, so there are some safety precautions to take into account. I've done a lot of four-wheel driving and a couple of laps around Australia with our kids and there is a ton of stuff you need to take when you're four-wheel driving. Things like tyre repair kits, recovery kits, um, tools, but most importantly, there are some staples. Things like take plenty of fuel, water and food, and particularly communication is very important especially in remote areas. So you need to take a well-stocked first aid kit, but also something like a two-way radio. It's handy to be able to speak to other vehicles. But if you're on your own and you need to contact someone in emergency, things like a satellite phone or an EPIRB are very important and easy to stack in your vehicle. When you are going away, check out Western Four Wheel Drivers website. They've got a full list of everything you need to take to keep you safe on the road. Western Australia is an amazing place and there's so much to see here. So as long as you're well prepared and you've got a good sense of adventure, the fun will never stop. <laughs>